for wound healing. Because the blood glucose is high, microorganisms can flourish. In some individuals, frequent infections or a wound that won't heal prompts them to see a doctor and a subsequent diagnosis of type 2 diabetes is made. In women with type 2 diabetes, certain infections, such as monelia or yeast infections caused by the organism Canada albicans, are more common. Some individuals with type 2 diabetes can be treated with diet and exercise. Often, however, as the disease progresses, they will usually require a combination of oral agents or oral agents and insulin in addition to the diet and exercise. If the hyperglycemia of type 2 diabetes is not diagnosed and treated and results in dangerously high blood glucose levels, the resultant dehydration may lead to an extremely serious condition called hyperosmolar hypoglycemic state. As you have seen, type 2 diabetes is a progressive disease and may cause damage to the heart and circulatory system even before the person is diagnosed. Of great concern to public health professionals, then, is the estimated 16 million people who have a condition called prediabetes, formerly called impaired glucose tolerance. In prediabetes, the blood glucose level measured by certain tests is abnormally high, but less than the level indicating diabetes. It is estimated that most people with prediabetes will develop type 2 diabetes within 10 years if there is no intervention. Although those with prediabetes may have some cardiovascular disease, they can prevent further harm and the development of diabetes through lifestyle changes, such as decreasing the total number of carbohydrates or the concentration of carbohydrates they eat at one time to put less stress on the pancreas, increasing their amount of exercise, and losing weight, a 5 to 10 percent reduction in total body weight with an increase in exercise and activity can produce a significant reduction in the progression to type 2 diabetes. Some motivated individuals can even return their elevated blood glucose levels back to the normal range. Thus, the progression to diabetes is not always inevitable and can be reversed by behavioral changes, a fact that healthcare professionals need to convey to the patients and the public at large. The long-term complications of inadequately treated diabetes, either type 1 or type 2, are many and can be devastating. When persons have diabetes, the risk of heart disease and stroke are increased by two to four times. Uncontrolled diabetes causes an eye disease called retinopathy, which is the leading cause of blindness in the United States and responsible for 